Hi guys, welcome to TurboMath channel. A lot of people get confused when they see this question. They don't know which operation to do first, so they might get it wrong. 3 times 4 minus 6 divided by 6, then plus 5 to the power of 2, then over, open parentheses, 1 plus 1 close parentheses, then all of them to the power of 2, times 6 divided by 3. What is the answer of this question? Some people solve this question like this. They say 3 times 4 equals 12. 12 minus 6 divided by 6, then plus 5 to the power of 2, which equals 25, then divided by 1 plus 1, which equals 2, then to the power of 2, which equals 4, times 6 divided by 3, which equals 2. 12 minus 6 equals 6. 6 divided by 6, then plus 25 in the numerator, and in the denominator, 4 times 2 equals 8. 6 divided by 6 equals 1. 1 plus 25, then divided by 8. 1 plus 25 equals 26. And they say the final answer of this question equals 26 over 8. They divided both by 2 and they say the final answer is 13 over 4. But this answer is definitely wrong. Let's solve this question step by step together. To solve this question, we need to follow the order of operations, which is PEMDAS. PEMDAS shows the priority of the mathematical operations. And if you don't pay attention to this rule, you get the wrong answer. In this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Multiplication and division have the same level of priority, also addition and subtraction have the same level of priority. When we have both in an expression, we start from the left and simplify the question. Let's simplify and solve this question step by step together. We have 3 times 4 minus 6 divided by 6, then plus 5 to the power of 2 in the numerator, and in the denominator we have 1 plus 1, then to the power of 2, times 6 divided by 3. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we simplify the parentheses. Inside the first parentheses we have multiplication, subtraction, division, addition, and exponent. First we simplify this exponent. 5 to the power of 2 equals 25. Now we have 3 times 4, then minus 6, divided by 6, then plus 25. Okay guys. Again, we have multiplication, subtraction, division, and addition. First, we simplify this multiplication. 3 times 4 equals 12. Now we have 12 minus 6 divided by 6, then plus 25. In this step, we have subtraction, division, and addition. First, we simplify this division. Negative 6 divided by 6 equals negative 1. Now we have 12 minus 1, then plus 25. 12 minus 1 equals 11, and 11 plus 25 equals 36. The final answer of this part equals 36. Okay guys, let's simplify the second parenthesis. Okay guys, now we have 36 divided by open parentheses, 1 plus 1, close parentheses, then all of them to the power of 2 times 6 divided by 3. In this step, we simplify these parentheses. Inside these parentheses, first we simplify this part. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Now we have 2 to the power of 2, then times 6 divided by 3, which equals 2. Now the question is 36 divided by 2 to the power of 2 times 2. Again, we simplify the parentheses. 2 to the power of 2 equals 4. Now we have 36 divided by 4, then times 2. Again, we simplify the parentheses. 4 times 2 equals 8. Now we have 36 divided by 8. And the final answer is 36 over 8. Okay, guys. Because the numerator and the denominator of this fraction are divisible by 4, we divided both by 4. 36 divided by 4 equals 9. And 8 divided by 4 equals 2. So, the final answer of this question equals 9 over 2. 
Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Goodbye.